All right. God bless you. I want you to look at something with me. And this, the title of this message is, It All Leads to Christ. Lord, add a blessing to your word. Look at, go with me to Matthew, the 17th chapter. Matthew 17, verse 1. It reads like this, And after six days Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringeth them up into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto him Moses and Elijah, talking with him. Moses represented the Old Testament from Genesis to Deuteronomy. Elias represented the prophets. There was no other prophet who that manifested the uh, the great powers of Jehovah, Yahweh, Elohim, Yah, the way the Most High, the way that Elias did. Elias, remember the mount on the there was a contest on the mount, and Elias said, "You're you see whose God is God, your God or my God?" And there was a contest, and when it was all said and done, Elijah's God was God. Read about that. And, and so what what happened next when Peter said we should have built three tabernacles, one for Christ, Moses, and Elijah, as if he was one of the prophets. Then there was there was a cloud, verse 5 says, while he yet spoke, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud whom said, which said, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased, hear ye him. So from now on, we shouldn't be talking about the law no more. From now on, we should not be talking about what the prophets did. It's all about Christ. He's the king. Going to Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Remember, talk about the king. The reason, and if you do talk about the law, it's for references. The traffic light is there to protect you. But if you don't know the rights, your rights, the civil rights, the, the law is breaking into five parts. The civil rights... The ceremonial rights or laws, ceremonial law, civil law, the dietary law, the moral law, and the sacrificial law. The only law that's been done away with is the sacrificial law. We still have the civil law, the ceremony, the dietary. Well, not we. The children of Israel do. Those who are the children of Israel still have to keep those. So know the law because it's there to protect you. What is the law? Sin is transgression against the law. If you don't know, if you want to know what sin is, sin is transgression against the law. If you don't know what the law is, you won't know what sin is. Or there'll be no sin if there was no law. What I said, Romans chapter 15, verse 4. I want to put this in your he hearing. It says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. So whatever was written before was written for our learning. Luke chapter 24, verse 44. Remember, it all points to Christ. It says, These are the words which I spake unto you, while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me. It was all pointing to Christ. So whatever was written in the, in the, in the book of law was saying Christ is coming. Whatever was written in the book of the prophets, it was all saying Christ was coming. Here in Matthew chapter 11, verse 12 and 13, this topic is, it's all about Christ. It all points to Christ. Matthew chapter 11, verse 12 and 13. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. They all prophesied that Christ is coming. Christ is coming. He's coming. Now once John got here, remember John said, Behold the Lamb of God, who's here to take away the sins of the world. Now John is saying he's here. Now here in Matthew chapter 4, verse 17, uh, here in 4 and 17 it says, From that time Jesus began to preach, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. 
So from the time Christ turned 30 years old and he was led up into the mountain and then it, being led into the mountain, he was uh, tempted 40 days, 40 nights. And then he came down. Uh, after that, he began to preach, repent, change your thinking. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is here. Why is the kingdom of heaven here? Because the king himself was present. And then the king is, since the king is present, he brings and represents a kingdom. St. John chapter 18, 38. And then I'm going to close St. John chapter 18, verse 38. Excuse me, verse 37. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest I'm a king. To this end was I born. He was born to come to this place to be king. And for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. I'm closing the book. I'm going to teach kingdom teaching and kingdom principles. It all points to Christ. Everything that we hear and every message should point to Christ. If you go to the New Testament, it should be for references only. But I do, once again, encourage you to know what the law is. It is for your protection. I'm going to be teaching who the king is, elements in the kingdom, what is in the kingdom, the highest person ruling in the kingdom. Uh, I'm, just stay tuned. I got a lot to give you. It all points to Christ. This is kingdom teaching, and I'm Brother Neil. God bless you.